You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace today Prince Michael of Kent. His Majesty the King expressed pride in the historic relations and cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom. He also affirmed Bahrain's keenness to further develop these relations. Particularly in the fields of military and defense to serve the common interest of the two countries and people. His Majesty commended the vital role of the UK in preserving regional and international peace and security. For his part, Prince Michael of Kent hailed the development of relations and cooperation between Bahrain and the UK. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the members of the National Institution for Human Rights, led by Saeed bin Mohammed Al Fihani, on the occasion of the Royal Order of appointing them to the Board of Commissioners of the new institution. His Majesty affirmed the Kingdom's keenness to commit to all international laws related to human rights, which is a fundamental part of the Bahraini culture. He congratulated the audience and wished them success in assuming this national duty, praising their capabilities and efforts in this field. He hailed the Bahraini capabilities in the human rights field and its role in defending the country on the regional and international levels. His Majesty discussed a report that highlighted the positive outcomes of the human rights session meeting that was held recently in Geneva, which was commended by several participating countries. He stressed that the Kingdom is proud of its distinguished human rights record, which is based on modern progressive constitutional and legal texts, and that the Bahraini society has distinguished its values, coexistence, equality and pluralism throughout its history. The president of the NIHR expressed pride in the directives of His Majesty the King and his support for the institution facilitating its work in developing human rights field, affirming that enhancing and protecting human rights is an integral part of the wise leadership's vision. al fehani stated that His Majesty has always been the sponsor and protector of human rights and the establishment of freedom of opinion and expression, noting that the achievements made in the law field are as a result of the follow-up of His Majesty and the government headed by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa. Al Fehani asserted that His Majesty's keenness on meeting NIHR Board of Commissioners motivates them to develop legal work and make further achievements. He reiterated this pledge to protect the legal gains and enhance them to protect human rights. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a number of royal family members and officials in the kingdom. His Royal Highness affirmed that Bahrain had achieved a developmental prosperity that the government is working hard on maintaining and keeping in line with the population growth and urban development. Noting that the government's strategy aims at integrating services in all cities and villages and guaranteeing that all citizens receive it easily. His Royal Highness stated that the government is keen on keeping pace with urban and residential development through increasing developmental projects in infrastructure, housing, health and education to achieve citizens' ambitions and facilitating services. He noted that all ministries and governmental entities should be instructed to follow up the execution of projects in various areas in the Kingdom and to guarantee their swift completion according to the best standards to achieve citizens' needs. He hailed the continuous development of the health and treatment services system led by specialized national medical and nursing caters and competencies asserting that the government is keen on developing the health sector according to the latest global system standards through establishing more hospitals and medical centers.
The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed al Mullah, chaired today the weekly meeting where the Council approved the general budget for the fiscal years 2017-2018. It also approved issuing developmental bonds and referred both draft laws to the Shore Council. The Council approved a decree by law regarding the bylaw of the Council and a draft law regarding the reserve for future generations. The Council also approved proposals by law regarding the Labor Market Regulatory Authority, education, employing and rehab of people with special needs, private health institutions and and financing houses. The meeting then discussed a number of proposals by the Representatives Council. Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and Egypt issued a joint statement. The four countries asserted that the documents published by U.S. satellite television news channel cable news network CNN, including the Riyadh Agreement 2013, its executive mechanism and the Riyadh Supplementary Agreement 2014, confirm beyond any doubt Qatar's failure to meet its commitments and violations of its commitments. The quartet emphasized that the 13 demands presented to the Qatari government were to fulfill its previous obligations and commitment, adding that the demands were in fact stated in the Riyadh Agreement, this executive mechanism and the Riyadh Supplementary Agreement and were fully in line with the spirit of what was agreed upon. Meanwhile, Kuwait, the U.S., U.K. urged all parties to resolve their disputes as quickly as possible through dialogue. The statement came as U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson and British National Security Advisor Mark Sedwell visited Kuwait, which is acting as a mediator in order to patch up the raw between the countries. Coming from some of the most influential powers in the dispute, the plea for a negotiated solution may aim at an earlier refusal by Qatar's adversaries to discuss renewing ties with Doha until it's first accused to a list of stiff demands. Tillerson departed Kuwait for Qatar today after meeting with Kuwait's ruler Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Sabah. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,311.82 points, marking an increase of 7.49 points below last closing. The increase was in the commercial banks, investment, hotels and tourism, and industrial sectors, and investors traded mainly in the industrial sector with 47.98% of total shares. 84 transactions included 2,936,464 shares, worth 662,319 Bahraini dinars. The Board of Directors of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry held today its 23rd meeting of the 8th session at the Beta Tujar chaired by Khalid Al Muayyad. The meeting aimed to enhance the Chamber's role in serving the members and the economic activity of the country. It also included a number of topics related to the financial data of the first quarter, in addition to amending some decree bylaws as well as the Chamber's bylaw. Alba managed to close the first half of 2017 with sales volume at 453,089 metric tons, down by 3.9% year-on-year, while production volume reached 453,395 metric tons, down by 4.5%. Alba value-added sales averaged 61% of total shipments in the second quarter of 2017 versus 55% for the same period last year and 58% for the first half of 2017 compared to 54% in 2016. 